Hello, I'm Simon Wood. Thanks for stopping by. Joining me is Steve Adams. We're going to be discussing today the ORCAD Capture Start Page and the ORCAD Capture Marketplace. Steve, I've had a few people ask me, how do I turn that start page off? Because it's the first thing you see when you open Capture. And we're going to get to that. We're going to let you know how to, how to turn it off and re-enable it. But we wanted to share with you some of the reasons why we feel it's important that you know what's in there. That way, if ever you find yourself needing that item, you know exactly where to go. Steve, tell us about some of the good points of the Capture Start page in the marketplace. Okay, so I mean, um, I mean the Start page basically is going to give you a, a link to the VARS web pages. So there's a, like an internal little link, so and you can set up who your VAR is. So obviously for the UK, it's Parallel Systems. For for Denmark, it's Nordcad, America, EMA. Um, and, and they're going to give you information on those there's local websites and they'll actually take your links directly to these company websites. Um, but there's also things like uh, new projects, new designers available there. Um, there's a great tutorial, the demonstrations now, the, the tutorials, there's some live videos in there. So for brand new users, it's a, a really good place for new users to go and start to learn how to use the tools. Um, on the right hand side of the start page is something called the, the marketplace or visit the marketplace. It's like a blue square and you can kind of press on this link to go and go to the marketplace. And this is the main reason Kent's have introduced this kind of functionality. Because if you actually go to the marketplace, there's lots and lots of useful documentation and models and things that, that users can actually use. So if, if we look at like the, the component search tab, there's links for things like CIS, CIP, mm -hmm. uh, to access all the data sheets and, and the data you can get from there. There's also links to, to the live um, component manufacturers websites, and those that produce things like your can capture symbols, the RLB files, but there's also the PCB footprints, the DRAs, the BSMs, the PSMs, etc. All those, all those parts are actually available, and it saves you having to, to recreate those footprints. You can get them directly from, from the people that make them. So um, There's a models tab for people that use using PSPICE. You can obviously download all your PSPICE models. There's a multimedia tab that covers things like videos and, and more PDFs, how-tos, etc. And they're available, a lot of the VARs are actually putting all their local links directly into that kind of that multimedia area. So it's there's some really, really useful information and it's all worldwide based as well. So, you know, if Nord kind of written a really, really useful documentation, they can go and get that. Um, the main bit really is obviously the online store. Now, this is the, the app store that we've spoken about on other things. So things like Symbol Gen and Footprint Gen. Um, but there's also some free apps there that Kate's have written, so the Intelligent PDF, so you can actually descend hierarchies and, and get property information via an Adobe Reader of, a, of your schematic. So why would you want to, you know, print anything else now? You know, it's all embedded into that PDF file. Um, and these apps are kind of, there's a combination of free and paid for. Um, the paid for, if you're going to pay for an app, you can effectively use, it's like a credit card and like a PayPal kind of thing from the web. Um, but there's also a free seven-day trial, so you can kind of click on, have a go, see what you like if you like the app. You then can go back and actually buy a fully licensed version of it. So um, now that's obviously the, the main reason it's there. I know why some people, you know, obviously that if you've got a slow internet connection inside your office, sometimes that can affect the speed of, of obviously loading capture. So there's a quick and easy way to disable this function. Okay. Um, you have to have an open design. Right. But there's an, then there's an accessories menu inside capture, standard accessories menu, and under there there's a there's a K it's tickle TK utilities menu, mm -hmm. and then embedded into that is something called a utilities. And if you open that up, you get a, a GUI open up, and it's like the extended preferences. Okay. So you get extended preferences, and I think the actual terminology is is load web page on startup. Right. A little checkbox, just deselect that checkbox, close the GUI down, close the software down, reopen the software, and the start page is no longer going to be, going to be called up on startup. Um, obviously, if you want to have that functionality back in, go through the same menu selection, add the checkbox in, close and open, and then the, cap, the start page is there again. Yeah, we'll see. Okay. Okay. Steve, thanks ever so much for going through those points. Really appreciate it. Okay. Don't forget, hit us up on Facebook or Twitter. We'd love to hear from you.